What up guys, today I'm going to do an advanced tutorial about horizontal piston extender. The design that you're currently looking at is one we used in Illustrator and is as far as I know one of the most compact infinitely expandable horizontal piston extenders. You can operate it using a button or a lever. Using a button will extend it shortly, after it's fully extended it will retract again. Using a lever it will extend and it will stay extended for as long as the lever is activated. When we flick it back off, it will start retracting. If you look closer, you can see that there are both fence gates and redstone lamps used in this redstone contraption. And that's because I want to show you that redstone lamps actually have a slight delay when deactivating them. So if you look closer at the fence gates and the redstone lamps when the lever is um, deactivating, you can clearly see that the redstone lamps are deactivating slower than the fence gates. So when you're building this yourself, I highly suggest that you use fence gates instead of redstone lamps, because as you can see, when you're using redstone lamps, it can fail sometimes. Before starting the tutorial, I would like to explain you how the extender works and the different mechanics, uh, game mechanics we use in order to make it work. First, I'm going to explain the um, extension and retraction process. So first, the extension. That's really easy. We're just powering every other block. So every light gray wool block is getting powered. And this is the extension. When we um, do the retraction, these are going to power off like this. And now comes the difficult part. So if you look at the signs, I have written on them cycle 1 and cycle 2. So cycle 1 are these two blocks and cycle 2 are these four blocks. And the amount of cycles it's, it takes to uh, retract a piston extender depends on the amount of pistons. So a, a triple piston extender takes two cycles. And how a cycle works? Well, every block from the cycle powers a different lever over here so this block from the first cycle will power this lever and this block from the cycle will power this lever so yeah that's very basic and simple and the same goes for the for the second cycle so this block for instance powers this lever and this one powers that lever when we power this block and we're always powering the most left block when starting a cycle um, three ticks later it's going to power the next block in the cycle so for for the first cycle it would be this one is getting powered three ticks later it's getting unpowered and the next one is getting powered for three ticks and for the second cycle same goes this one is getting powered for three ticks and then it unpowers and powers the next one the next one next one etc. We are going to pull these cycles off in a sequence so the retraction process um, happens as fast as possible so we are going to start out by starting cycle one by powering this block and then this is basically going to happen then when it shifts then it's going to power off and this one is going to power on and at the same time this cycle is also going to start, so this piston is also going to be activated. Then um, this one shifts away, so this one gets powered off, and this one sh um, shifts to the ne next one, so this one is going off and this one is going on. Then eventually this one shifts to the next one as well, it powers off and this powers on. And then last but not least, it shifts to there, this one powers on, this one uh, this one powers off, this one powers on, but it doesn't really matter because there's no piston there. So that's basically how the retraction works. And as you can see, for um, this whole thing to work, we need to be able to power every piston separately. So if you are um, using multiple pistons, this is actually a problem because you can't just power these with uh, a red redstone line on top like this. It, it's just impossible because it's going to interfere. So we're using um, a couple of game mechanics. 
and the first one is Close stone and close stone has some awesome properties for redstone and I'm pretty sure the most of you know that but close stone actually only powers pistons directly placed below it like this so when you are um, using it it's perfect for extenders because it's only powering this line of pistons and the second game mechanic we're using is what I like, like to call an instant butt switch and that's basically um, exploiting the fact that pistons with um, blocks powered like this will be extended when they are updated by for instance a block so whenever there is a block update next to the piston it's going to update because when we power it off it's only go going to power off when we place a block next to it and actually when the piston retracts it also updates the piston next to it but in order to also make it extend we're going to use fence gates because they cause a block update when getting powered because they open and they also cause a block update when getting unpowered because they close so we basically made instant bus switch so the first thing you're going to do is extend the redstone wire pattern that I just showed you. If you are wondering how many times you need to extend it, well, it's very easy. You just count out the pistons, multiply it by two, subtract it with one. That's the exact amount of wires you're going to need. Then you are going to extend the glowstone wires by one glowstone block. When that is done, place some building blocks right over there. The last one isn't needed, so just leave that open. Do the same one lower, then you're going to place blocks like this. And I should say that this design is modular, so if you're wondering how to build it with more pistons, well, it's very easy, you just repeat the same thing I do on two blocks in width like this. You just keep repeating this, only the beginning and the end is a little bit different. So the first thing you're doing is place a repeater on one tick delay right there then two on two ticks very important timings here are very important so if something isn't working check your timings so it should look like this then you're going to place a block right over there redstone dust on top torches on the side and again repeat it if you're done doing that we are going to connect them so that they are firing in a sequence and we are going to do that by placing some redstone dust right where the two tick repeater points into the block so right there do that also with every other one except for the last one because there's nothing to connect the special thing about this is the first one because you're going to place a block right there and put some redstone dust on top of that as well then you're going to place glowstone. stone you have to use glowstone because glowstone is the only block together with upside down half slabs that can transfer redstone current only upwards and that's really important if you are building this if you are done doing that just place a torch right there now everything should be turned off so the repeater should be turned off this should be turned off if that is the case you should be good to go so now just count out three blocks one two three and place a repeater on two ticks delay there do the same for every wall line place a block on top of the redstone so that the repeater is actually powering the redstone underneath now you are going to place a torch right there put some blocks like this redstone dust on top a repeater on two tick delay I repeat two tick delay very important if that is anything else the whole thing is not going to work you're going to extend it out a bit by placing blocks like that these repeaters need to be on three ticks delay though so three ticks place wool blocks here here and here repeaters on them on four tick delay what I'm making here is basically a monostable circuit. 
So they are firing all the cycles in a sequence with three ticks in between. You're just going to place wool blocks in the same pattern as I'm doing. So just like this, a diagonal line like that. Place a torch right over there or with every single mode of table. Redstone dust on top, a torch on the side, and your extender is done. Just place a lever right over there, power it, it's going to extend, unpower it, it's going to retract. So yeah, that's my tutorial about advanced horizontal piston extenders. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.